Greetings my beautiful lovelies, it's Emmy. How are you? It's great to see you and welcome back. Today I'm going to be tasting something that I discovered recently at the dollar store. And it's this. And this is a can of cheese. Tasty cheese, product of Jamaica. I found this at the Dollar Zone in Providence and I saw it and I said, cheese in a can. I must purchase this. So I grabbed it, dollar store thinking that, oh, maybe it's, you know, a $5 can of cheese. No, I paid $48. I kid you not, I went into the dollar store to get a bag of chips to have with my lunch, with my family, and we grabbed our chips. I saw the cheese, I grabbed the cheese. <laughs> the total was $50. Granted, it is almost five pounds. It's 4.84 pounds of cheese. So if you do the calculus for that, it's actually a pretty reasonable price for cheese. So when I got home, I immediately went on social media to ask my beautiful lovelies, what is the official preparation for this cheese, how to eat it. And so many beautiful Jamaican lovelies got in touch with me to tell me that tasty cheese is to be eaten with bun, spiced bun, which is a spiced loaf of bread. I believe the story goes that it was brought over by the British to Jamaica in the form of hot cross buns, which are traditionally eaten around Easter. It has since become very much Jamaican. Molasses has been added. Sometimes beer is added. So it has this really rich, dark brown color to it. It often has fruit on top, fruit in it, fruit including candied cherries and peel, which is candied fruit kind of similar to a fruit cake in that sense, but not as heavily studded. I was not able to find spice bun locally, but I was going to make it from scratch. But then lovely Kasani got in touch with me and she hooked me up with Jamaican treats, Caribbean treats that she sent from New York to me. Thank you so much Kasani for helping me out. And so I have bun along with bula to taste with my tasty Jamaican cheese. So let's go ahead and see what's inside this huge can. I mean, it's pasteurized processed cheese spread, but what does it taste like? Let us find out. I have a receipt as well. This is what I paid, $50. Better be good. By the way, in case you're curious, uh, this is not the first time I've had cheese in a can. I also tried cheese in a can that came from University of Washington. Incredible cheese. I'll put a link down below to that video. And I've also had cheese in a can that came from New Zealand and butter in a can, I believe that came from New Zealand as well in my apocalypse in a can <laughs> series. If you haven't seen that, I'll put a link to that video as well. But here we go. Here's our tasty cheese. I actually first heard about spice bun and cheese in a gastro obscura article. And then lovely Ashley, who sent me a package of Jamaican treats also told me about this cheese combination, but I never got a chance to actually try it. And Ashley suggested cheddar cheese and I was going to get the run of the mill cheddar cheese that we get at the grocery store. I did not know about tasty cheese. So I'm excited to give this a try. So let's open this up and, and give this a taste. Ooh, nice vacuum seal, good sign. Let's see, what is the best way to open this or get the cheese out? All right, made it all the way around. You ready for this? Dun, 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 wow. There we have it, orange cheese. It looks a lot like Velveeta or something. It smells, I don't actually know what Velveeta smells like, but this smells kind of cheesy. And I think maybe the easiest way to get this out will be to open both sides of the can. And I'll grab my cutting board and let's do this. And I think pushing it out might be the best way to do this. Now, I think this is what I'm thinking here. If we push, I don't know if this plan is going to work. Excuse the noise. So I think maybe it's just a matter of, I don't know, Jamaicans, you're probably laughing at me, but that's all right. This is my first experience with the cheese. Oh, it says to open, clean and cut, remove both top and bottom and the bottom from the tin, then push through. It actually says what I'm doing is correct. I've received confirmation. Okay, 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 good. So you're not laughing at me. If you're laughing at me, that's fine too. <laughs> Let's do it this way. Here we go. Oh, this is a piece of paper. Oh, now it looks like 
American processed cheese. That's the bright orange yellow color. Okay, maybe I have to push it from the top more. Okay, let's do that. I feel like I don't have hands large enough for <laughs> extracting this cheese. So there's our cheese, huge. I'm not gonna take the whole thing out because I think it'll be easier to serve this way. So I'm gonna peel that back from the sides. Look at that. Alrighty, so now that we have the cheese out of the can, let's give it a slice. This is gonna be a pretty big portion here. I'm just gonna slice off maybe a half an inch, a little less than that. I'm just gonna rotate it as I go around. This is a lot of cheese. It looks a lot like Velveeta. Let's give it a taste. Here we go, itadakimasu. Mmm, actually, it's got more of a funkier, cheddar-y flavor than Velveeta. Velveeta for me is more for mouthfeel and plastic, oozy creaminess uh, rather than flavor. But this actually tastes like cheddar cheese. I'm surprised by that because I was totally expecting a Velveeta experience. In terms of texture, it's not as dry as regular cheddar cheese by any means. It definitely has more of a plasticky texture. It's much more crumblier than Velveeta and or a craft single slice, you know, where it's really floppy and plasticky. This is much firmer and has a crumbler texture that you kind of imagine with a mild cheddar cheese, but stronger flavor than mild cheddar cheese. I like it. Now that we have our cheese, next we need our spiced bun. This is spiced fruit bun. It is made by the Fresh Daily Company. And here it is, and I can already smell it. And it smells like cinnamon and spice. And it is a loaf cake. Let's go ahead and open this. I was fully gonna make this myself from scratch before Kasani got in touch with me, but to do so you need a few ingredients that are challenging to find. One of them was stout, dark, dark beer. I was looking for dragon stout, which is a Jamaican stout, and it is used to give this bun tons of flavor, but also this beautiful brown color, along with browning, which is an ingredient I've never heard of either. I learned a lot from all these videos and it all started with stumbling on a giant can of canned cheese. Love that. Alrighty, so here's the bun and it's shaped like a loaf cake. It smells fantastic. It smells like molasses and spice. Okay, let's give this a cut. And you're supposed to just eat this and just make a sandwich of this. So in cross section, you can see that it's studded with fruit. It's got some candied cherries in it and raisins, and sometimes it has peel in it. Okay, nice big chunk of cheese in there. And then we put another layer of spice bun on top. And there we have it, bun and cheese. Alrighty, let's give that a taste. Itadakimasu. My mind is trying to figure out if it's salty or sweet, and it's both. It's neither one or the other. Now, the cheese is really rich. It's got a nice little sharpness to it. It also kind of glues the sandwich together. The bun itself is sweet and spicy. It's reminiscent of gingerbread a little bit. When I say gingerbread, I don't mean the cookie gingerbread. I mean like the German gingerbread full of different spices. It's kind of gingery. Let's have it by itself. Mm-hmm, mm, really flavorful. It's sort of like a banana bread in its level of sweetness, but it's a little more dense. It's not as cakey. It's a little more bread-like. It's got some caramel flavor. It's a great combination of salty, sweet, creamy, and spice, but spice, not hot spice. Spice, warm, cinnamony, nutmeggy, gingery spice. You know what I mean? Mm hmm All right, that's spice bun. Kasani also sent me these, and these are bula cakes, and they look like this. And bula cake is often eaten with tasty cheese or avocado. So, can't wait to try this combination. And here is a bula cake, look at that. It almost looks like a mushroom cap. Isn't that lovely? Ooh, this has a lovely smell to it too. This smells like molasses. Caramel, not spiced. 
Mm, that was great. So I'm going to cut this in half. And that's what the crumb looks like. It's pretty dense, pretty tight crumb. So we'll try this also with a bit of cheese. But Kasani says the classic combination with bula cake is avocado or pear is what it's called in Jamaica. And I love avocado so, so much. Ah, oh, perfect. This one, I'm just gonna take a piece like this. Ah, ha, 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 ha. Let's try that first. Here we go with the doggy mouse. Mm-hmm, mm. Avocado is so lovely, so lovely. Presented like this, in my experience with avocado toast, makes you think this is going to be automatically savory. And it's not, this is sweet. The bula cake is as sweet again as the spice bun or something like banana bread or zucchini bread. Very sweet and it has a more kind of gingery flavor to it, less kind of cinnamony, almost like cardamom flavor to it a little bit citrusy but i don't think there's any citrus in it some kind of like lemony gingery flavor to it and very caramel lovely mm -hmm. Alrighty. so now that we've had it with avocado let's have it with the cheese mm -hmm. immediately i taste the sweetness of the bula cake and then the cheese comes in to so that little punch of salt very interesting to compare these two types of bread. They have completely different flavors, but that experience of sweet and salty is very similar. Sweet, salty, sweet, salty, dairy, bread, such a no brainer combination of something rich and dairied with some kind of starch. But the spice combination is unexpected to me and sweetness is lovely too. Love the combination of sweet, and salty. Um, in terms of an analogy of something that might be familiar to Western palate, I would say spice bun is a little bit like raisin bread, but it has a completely different texture in terms of that combination of cinnamon, warmth, sweetness, and raisins. Spice bun has that, but it has a completely different texture and a more complex spice flavors to it. Alrighty, my loves, thanks so much for watching and big thanks to Kasani for hooking me up with all of these treats all the way from New York. And I hope you enjoyed that one. I hope you learned something. Please share this video with your friends. Follow me on social media. I almost forgot to wish you a happy Thanksgiving. Thank you so much for sticking with me, for showing up for my videos every week. I wouldn't be doing this for a living if it wasn't for lovelies like you. So thank you so much. I hope you're having a wonderful Thanksgiving, spending time with the ones that you love. And with that, I'll see you in the next video. Toodaloo. Take care. Bye. <laughs>